Welcome back guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to see how to use super resolution for uh, low quality images. So the objective of the project is to enhance or uh, increase the resolution of uh, low quality images. Let's say uh, if we have a resolution of uh, 1 cross 1, uh, we can enhance the uh, resolution by 3 to 4 times or even 8 times without uh, losing much of the quality. So we will uh, compare with the traditional method and also with uh, deep learning trained uh, model. So for this thing, I'm going to use uh, OpenCV with uh, deep learning modules. So for this uh, complete setup, uh, you have to use uh, OpenCV Contrib and, uh, and all the installation process uh, with uh, CUDA. Even if you don't have CUDA, at least uh, that OpenCV Contrib and all the necessary libraries uh, that are needed. To check that installation process, uh, click on the right top corner of this uh, video. Uh, I can I already explained all the steps in detail. So after watching that video, just come back here and uh, we will start this project now. First, let's import the modules. Import modules. So I will import OpenCV2 and uh, from cv2 import dnn super res so this is that uh, open cv contrib file uh, has so all the necessary supporting modules will be there if you already installed it means it won't show any errors for you and after this uh, we will initialize the uh, super resolution object initialize super resolution object I will say sr equals dnn super res dot dnn super res implementation create now that is done we will uh, read the model so for this thing you have to download the uh, model as well so maybe I can just uh, provide you the links here. Links to download models. So the first link is uh, so this is the EDSR TensorFlow. So this is somewhat a uh, best model and this is one of the largest model as well. I already downloaded this uh, EDSR uh, model. So I'll just uh, copy this uh, link address and uh, paste it here. So you can just directly go for this models. And another one is uh, uh, lab SRN. So this model can uh, enhance your uh, resolution but by 8x. So I also have this uh, model. So we are going to like experiment with this uh, two models. You can also download this, just copy this link address and I just uh, paste it here. Now I'll just uh, read the models. So I'll just mention the path. I have EDSR, wait, okay. I have this uh, 4x uh, model that I already downloaded. Now SR dot read model read model of path now this will just uh, read the model and after that uh, set the model and uh, scale sr dot set model of you have to mention the model name so here it is uh, edsr edsr and the scale that uh, how much you want to like uh, enhance uh, so this is like I can enhance up to 4 so I'll just uh, specify it as uh, 4 now this is done so after initializing if you have CUDA if you have CUDA support that means if you have NVIDIA GPU and uh, the installation process is already done, you can uh, set this. So this is like completely optional or else it will just use the CPU. So SR dot 
set preferable backend cv2 dot dnn dot dnn backend coda again sr dot set preferable target same cv2 dot dnn dnn target coda okay now this is done just run this now we will uh, write few things first uh, we will load the image load the image so image equals cv2 dot im read of i have a test image in this uh, same folder so i have this uh, test image now i will run this now up sample the image so we already loaded everything with this uh, object so result equals or we can just uh, say it as upscaled equals sr dot up sample of the image so this will uh, have the up sample upscaled uh, image now after that i'll just uh, save the image save the upscaled image now cv2 dot i am right of upscaled upscale dot png and i will pass the upscaled variable so here uh, it will store the upscaled uh, image so upscale test dot png so this will be good run this only for initial time it will take some time just to like move around the files and after that it will uh, run quickly so for now we are just uh, loading the image uh, for upscaling purpose if you have a video means you can also like iterate through the images in the video and do the upscaling and uh, you can write that video as well so everything is possible if you have a uh, gpu support like this means uh, the processing will be much faster now that is done let's compare the uh, image so this is for the upscaling uh, process before that uh, traditional method traditional method that will be like uh, by cubic by cubic so i will get the by cubic as well so by cubic equals cv2 dot resize of the image and uh, we have to pass the dimension so i already um, have this uh, dimension in the subscaled maybe i can just uh, do it next step so if you already know the resolution means it's not a issue if you don't uh, have the resolution you i'm just uh, taking the resolution from the upscaled so it will just uh, match so upscaled dot shape of 1 and uh, upscaled dot shape of 0 and after that interpolation okay it's not suggesting me anything interpolation equals cv2 dot inter inter cubic okay we will also write this save the image now cv2 dot i am right off by cubic dot png and uh, pass the by cubic variable okay now run this let's compare uh, both these things now so this is the folder uh, i was in and uh, this is the test image i'll just open this now you can uh, see the resolution it is like very small and i can also show you with the 
file info now you can see it is uh, okay this is not this is upscale test now this is the original file 232 cross 155 and uh, if you this is the upscaled one 926 in cross uh, 620 you can see the difference we have like uh, enhanced this by like uh, four times you can also see the difference in uh, size so this is like a significant difference and uh, the pixel density is also increased and we didn't uh, lose that much of a quality here let's also see the bicubic one so this is the bicubic one if you see the file info it's also like uh, have like similar size but uh, you can see the quality uh, there is a difference so this is the upscaled one and this is the bicubic one so you can clearly see the difference how the bicubic one is uh, differing so you can clearly see the uh, some kind of like a distortions all, all over the image it's not at all clear but on the other hand uh, the super resolution model uh, done a great job uh, you can uh, clearly see the enhancement and uh, even if you zoom it uh, I cannot see like any distortions in the image so this is the difference between like traditional and uh, deep learning uh, methods now that we have done the comparison let's uh, try with uh, another module that is like 8x So I'll just uh, come on this path instead of uh, this path. I'll just uh, have path equals lap sr and 8x, and I'll also come on this, or I can have it as like a separate uh, file itself. lab srn this is edsr okay i'll just copy everything and uh, paste it here now here i'll just uh, change the model name to lab srn 8x and here also I have to uh, change it to lap SRN lap SRN and uh, for the scaling I will just mention it as 8 so I will just uh, do the same thing lap SRN and this is the bicubic test with uh, 8x so we can uh, see a comparison just run everything okay now this is like much quicker than uh, before and this is also like a smaller module but uh, still it's uh, giving like 8x uh, enhancement now let's uh, compare the differences again starting with the original image so this is the original now let's see the 8x uh, image so this is the 8x uh, resolution if you see the original you can clearly see the difference between the resolution and let's also see the file info so 232 cross 155 and here if you see the file info it's 1856 cross uh, 1240 and uh, you can clearly see the size is also increased and again uh, I can see like much of a difference with this uh, resolution let's see the bicubic uh, output by cubic 8x again you could uh, see a clear difference between these things if I have like a side by side uh, comparison between uh, the by cubic one and the uh, super resolution uh, model there is a clear distortion but here uh, with the 8x uh, there is like minor distortion but uh, it is uh, really uh, acceptable if you just uh, go for like 4x or uh, 5x it is pretty reasonable like from 232 cross 155 uh, enhancing up to this uh, resolution this is like crazy uh, output so compared to the traditional method 
method i am always like preferring uh, this uh, deep learning one let me know what you think about this uh, in the comments so that's pretty much it guys so these are the two models i just compared uh, and uh, apart from that uh, we have like few more modules that are uh, open source you can check on the uh, you can check these on the internet but uh, the first module that i have so showed edsr showed a good result with uh, 4x resolution so that is like a best uh, model you could uh, use uh, that's pretty much it guys if you have any queries regarding this video please leave a comment below i'll definitely answer that and if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this see you guys in the next video